Greetings out there in YouTube land from the planet Earth. This is another retake. Uh, it's pretty, I'm having an awesome day. Uh, Gordon, the guy I've been ministering to, brought Lana over. And uh, so I have another person I was ministering to. It was really awesome, right? And then uh, Craig showed up after they left. And he was just here for a little bit. So he interrupted me in the last one I was doing of these. And, and my day gets better, and he told me that he's so happy and everything, the way things are going, and, and it changes in his life. That he, when he goes to the store Friday, he's going to grab me a bunch of that uh, fish that I liked and bring them to me as a gift. But I mean, the Lord has got me, even though I'm on a, on a, on a limit right now, a travel limit, because I'm dealing with that middle of uh, Romans 12, 12, right? Well, a lot of people do, right? Being patient, right? I overdid it when I, when he healed my heart. And mixed my memories. I went a little too far in my excursions. It was a little bit painful. And so he had to go through my wife because, uh, I was so excited then. I wasn't hearing as good because I was overwhelmed with the joy and excitement. And I've got a little travel limit on my distance unless I'm going grocery shopping or things like that. Right? That he considers important. Otherwise, I'm on a, a limited travel. And that's a good thing in a way because he's sending the people here to me. Now, when they say our God is a God of abundance, it's no joke, right? I only asked for one thing in my heart, and I got so much more. And so the Lord would be number five I laid hands on because he had complaining about some chest pains. That was uh, two days ago. And uh, yesterday was fine. Today, like, no problem at all, right? A lot better. And so he brought over Lana. She was having some problems with her back and all that, using a walker, right? And so uh, she wanted me to lay hands on her after we, she talked. She found out what the, my views were on Jesus. Because she was been wanting Lord to go to the church with her. Right? And she was apparently impressed enough that she wanted me to lay hands on her. And she was walking a little bit rickety. And I reminded the Lord about that lady that was hunched over and all that. And the Holy Spirit was a rock and I was administering the two of them. I really loved that so much, right? And so I laid, she wanted me to lay hands on her. So I laid hands on her back and all that. She got up and walked around a little bit, and she was still a little bit rickety, but it's like a million times better than she was. It just blew her mind. And I told her, like, some things happen right away. Some things take a few days to work out just the way it is, right? The Lord has his reasons for these things, right? And just, whoa. So they're, they're all happy, and they left, and then Craig shows up. My day just keeps getting better and better and better, I tell you. I mean, God loves it. He loves the bowl. Only the bowl will get to be with God, right? Because they're the hot. And it tells a straight word. And Revelation uh, 3, verses uh, 12 to, well, actually, you should go verses 11 to 18, right? You don't want nobody stealing your crown away from you, right? And he, only the bold will get to go with God because he'd rather have you cold or hot. I think it should have misprint. It should have been hot or cold myself, but that's my opinion there. Because everybody else rides the slide. He's happy with the cold. He, he can respect them. They made a choice to be with him or not. And everyone is given the choice of free will, either to be with God or not. If you want to be with God, you got to stand tall and bold for him so he, so he knows you're for real, right? Because there are a lot of them just waving Bibles, sadly, around. And you know what I'm talking about, brothers. I'm not talking about you, but there are many of them out there waving the Bibles around. they got a foot in two worlds, right? You can't have two masters, right? You can't live that worldful, sinful life doing the sins and that. So many of them are sadly doing it. And then wave a Bible on the other hand and think that God's going to save you. It's not. It don't work that way. You know? Yes, you can call upon the name of the Lord and be saved, but you got to have them in your heart and your mind for that to work. They fail to let you know that, right? Because God knows a lot of people. They turn around and figure out, okay, sit, live a sinful life, and at the last minute, I'm going to call on Jesus and I'll be in heaven. They don't, no, nah, he already knows that. They're not going to fly. And I say, everybody, have a, God wants a personal relationship with you because God is about faith and a personal relationship. And every one of you out there that knows what I'm talking about that has that. God rocks your world every day. Every day is a blessing. He brings new people into your life. He just keeps blowing my mind by abundantly, richly blessing me, even though I didn't deserve it. Especially when there's not a righteous person on the planet, right? And our best works is his filthy rags. That Every time I turn around, he's heaping blessings on me and on other people out there that are standing tall for him. Those who stand tall for God are just keep getting one blessing after another heaped upon him. So, remember... God is not about the names of religions. He's not about the buildings. He's not about the titles men love to give themselves. None of that matters to him. What matters to God is faith and a personal relationship with you. Straight word with you. 
Study your Bible to show yourself approved to God. It says, seek his face and you will find him. You do that and the Lord's going to guarantee you find him. And he'll show you Psalms 119, verse 100 in action. You'll know things that even the ancients didn't know. He'll show them to you. Things will jump out in his word that you might have looked by a few times and never even noticed. If everybody goes through it too fast, they don't pay attention to the words or understand the true meaning of words, a lot of people, sadly. But those who pay attention to them and look up the meaning of those words, just in case they don't understand so they know for sure, they see the power in those words. And when they, and, and when they recite them, then, then the true power of them jumps out and they see all sorts of things manifesting right before their very eyes. Think about it. All those people out there laying hands are standing in faith. God's doing all the hard work, doing all the healing. They're just standing in faith. And that's what God wants right now. It's so close to the end of the race. Either you're going to be on Satan's side or on God's side. That's the only choice there is. Either you want to be with God or not. Simple choice. Think about it and give Jesus a call. It'll be the greatest thing you've ever done in your life. There's a lot of people in the middle right now. And you might have heard about the foolish virgins with no oil. They all thought they were hot, but clearly they're not. It's not too late for you as long as you've got a breath in your body. You get ready with God and give him a call now. Please do, okay? And read your Bible for yourself. But too many are being led astray by the false shepherds and that that he warned about. Have a great day. Bye-bye.